sir you are here get table name you are saying it it will write the table name okay but when we use it sir you are in this particular form you are writing client script what is the purpose of this particular one or why why we use this one okay so to understand it okay we have one topic the topic is in the client script there is something called this one inherited what is the meaning of this particular field inherited b22 uh, so it's an if it is a parent one uh, then uh, what are the client scripts and actions is having it's going to the child one uh -huh. everyone is that correct so what is this inherited is Let's say I'm repeating it again. Okay, actually this was discussed in UA UA policy. Okay, you have one task table. Task table is one of the main important parent table, and you have so many child tables. Okay, incident table, change table. Okay, problem table. Okay, task table means catalog task table, and knowledge table. Okay, many tables are there, right? Like this. It won't come from child to parent mom i think i don't know how you got it it is only parent to child not the child to parent okay so all these 44 tables are child tables of task table correct is that clear ma yes sir yeah yes sir now if i have five client scripts in this particular task table okay uh, will the five client scripts will also come to child tables 44 child tables or not first question will come when inherited true inherited is true it will come yes. the client scripts which are marked as inherited equal to true they only will come to child tables Okay, so let's say out of five, two are inherited equal to true. Okay, those two will pass to child tables. Remaining three will not come to child tables. This is the topic. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes, and sir. now reverse. If one I have one child table, and it it have one client script, it will not go to others, or it will not go back to parent. It is only parent to child, not to child to parent. This is also clear, right? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, let's say you have one client script. Consider like you have one client script. Okay. This is inherited equal to true. Okay. Now, in this client script, okay, you want to do, okay, Maybe something like, uh, okay, do you know like mandatory? We seen it, mandatory true. Yes, sir. Okay, yes. I will write it, okay. G form dot set, okay. Mandatory. Mandatory equal to true, something like this we want to say. Okay. So in my requirement, observe this requirement, ma. Then you will understand what I am speaking all this. Okay, why I am speaking all this. Okay, you have a client script. In the client script, inherited equal to true. That means it will come to all the child tables. It will it will works on child tables. Okay, in that you have a requirement saying make the short description mandatory only for incident table and Okay, maybe problem table and remaining all make it non mandatory. You understood this requirement, ma? You understood the requirement? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, in the code, yes, how we write it is okay we write like this okay where tb equal to okay g form 
get table name or something whatever we see in it there na no? let me get it okay you'll get it like this if tb equal to incident or tb equal to problem the pro problem and this one are table names ma same like how you are seeing here na so you are seeing the table name na u underscore leave underscore request for incident table table name is incident for problem table okay table name is problem you know it right yes. this one i am referring yes. okay <laughs> this one i am referring okay so <coughs> like this okay yeah now everyone now now is this clear is that correct what i written here what happened okay you understood this requirement am how i am using get table name and how i am only doing some activity for one table level when a client script is sharing for all the child tables you understood now the scenario on the code yes everyone yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir but yes, sir. in the client script there is a, a field called table uh, about the script <laughs> mm -hmm. table desk uh, ui type correct ma uh, so here so is there you are here the table is task table parent table Oh, okay. It is there in ta ta task table level. That means this table level. And when you create a task table level and you mark it as inherited equal to true, it also comes to all the child table. That was the first point, na, which we discussed. Okay. Okay. It is coming to all. Okay, and mandatory true for all. Now you want to do mandatory true for only two tables and mandatory false for remaining other tables. Correct. Okay. Yes. Everyone understood this point, ma? Understood. Yes. yes sir. Okay. So this is also one of the very important topic. Okay, our scenario. Okay, and especially this is very important because it have the connection with inheritance and parent and child. Okay. So please keep this particular thing, ma. And you can also practice it. I just did. I didn't show. Okay, because of time. But you can practice it. create one on task table make sure that it works it works only on instant table and it don't works on other tables you can just keep one simple message alert box okay here you can keep one simple alert box okay but you need to make sure that it works on one particular table it don't work on some particular table that's what the intention and you are writing that particular uh, client script on task table level with inherited equal to true so without writing this code we can use uh, the incident table go to the uh, client script of incident table and write the mandatory correct script but uh, you, we will also write uh, the same uh, script on all other remaining tables let's say we have only one requirement here let's say you have two three requirements then okay and also your point is correct but there is already one client script on task table we need that and we need it it's a general activity we need it and we need some little deviation you got it huh? the situation comes like this ma okay so sir uh, in task table so the short description field will be true or false man mandatory that we need to see in the dis uh, dictionary of the task table no so, uh, uh, after this uh, client script sir uh so will it run on the task table also or not sir it will it, it, i think it will run ma it will run false i think but need to check it how it works on the main table okay give me one second i i'll just do one thing just give me one second
the if value will be false right so, so in that case it will execute the else part right? uh, that's what i i feel but uh, want to check it sure so many tasks but where is our parent task parent task okay so this is important what is the error here so the problem doesn't have the uh, end closing end quotation I will just keep, I will just only test alerts now, okay? Uh, what alert we want to give? We will put in the table names though. Okay. Right? Can you actually uh, add uh, whether the actual table is incident or problem also, sir? Sorry, uh, what we need to add? Uh, in the alert incident or problem table, mm -hmm. uh, can you just uh, make it to show the actual table name, like uh, get table get value? Table value. I can write it. Ma. We can write it here. Here I am writing, here I am writing. Okay. And instead of like this, I can simply take Ah, get table name is already there now. Why what I am doing? T V. Okay. Yeah. So no space I think. Right? So yeah, let's test it. We want to test only if it is how it is working on task table, okay, on incident table. Right. Incident dot form Yeah. So very good. What is TB? What is TB? Table names. Yes, ma correct only, but why it is not printing? Because we didn't give properly. Sure. Yeah, ma understood. I kept it everything in quotations, so it treated as text. Yeah. Okay. Some space is required. Very good. Now, uh, now, yeah. So, in, if loop is working and also printing the table name, no? Okay, good. Let's go and open task dot form. This is what the question is. So, else condition is taking. Correct, no? Yes, yes. Sir. Everyone understood? It is, it is getting the else condition yes, of it. That means, that is the answer. How to say? Correct, everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, get table name. This is the purpose of get table name. This is how we use it. Because when it comes to inheritance, okay, 